Hello. Hello. Hi. Today, arrivals and departures. We're going to talk about travelling from one country to another. Travelling by air. What do you need when you leave your country? What must you have? Well, you probably need one of these. A passport. Or perhaps an identity card. And you need one of these. A ticket. What do you need? What must you have? You need a passport. You must have a passport. You need a ticket. You must have a ticket. Now, what do you have to do when you get to the airport? Well, first you have to take your ticket and your luggage to the check-in desk. And what do you have to do at the check-in desk? You have to check in. Right. <laughs> this is a check-in desk. What do you have to do at the check-in desk? What do you have to do? You have to check in. You must check in. You have to check in. And what do you have to do when you arrive in a foreign country? You have to go through customs. Karl Schiller is a German businessman and a friend of Julia Marsh. He has just arrived in Britain and he's going through customs. Sir, would you come here, please? That's all right, sir. You don't need to show me your passport. Where are you travelling from? Munich in Germany. And what is the purpose of your visit? Business. I see. And what's inside the suitcase? Oh, normal things, clothes and... That's OK, sir. You don't need to do that. And uh, what about that? The briefcase? Yes. Could you open it, please? And what's this? A computer. <laughs> yes, it's a wonderful machine. My company makes them. And look, uh, it works like this. Uh, that's all right, sir. You don't need to give me a demonstration. Oh, OK. Uh, just a minute, sir. What's in the shoulder bag? Oh, the shoulder bag, <laughs> just my camera. Could you open it, please? When Carl offered to show his passport to the customs officer, this is what the customs officer said. That's all right, sir. You don't need to show me your passport. You don't need to. It is not necessary. Carl didn't need to show his passport at customs. Where do you need to show your passport? At immigration. Passport, please. What? Passport. Please show me your passport. Passport? I don't need a passport. Everyone needs a passport. Not me. I'm a bird. Birds don't need passports. Yes, they do. Look, it's in the book. From the 1st of January, all animals and birds must have passports. Well... I don't have a passport. OK. You can't enter the country. You must leave immediately. Excuse me. <gasps> yes? Do lions need passports? Uh, no, uh, lions don't need passports. And what about my friend? And birds don't need passports either, if they're with lions. Thank you very much. There are things you have to do before you leave your country. There are things you have to do when you arrive in the foreign country. 
there are also things you have to do on the plane. When the plane takes off, you always see this sign. It means you must fasten your seatbelt. When you see this sign, you mustn't smoke. You must not smoke. You mustn't smoke. That means you can't smoke. It's not permitted. Let's go back to Carl Schiller, who is still at customs. No, 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 you mustn't do that. Excuse me. You have to unscrew it like this. Hmm? I see. <laughs> then, of course, you can use this other lens. Very interesting. You screw it in like this. This really isn't necessary, sir. You don't need to show me how it works. No, really. I want to. Then there's this lens. Very interesting, yes. sir. But I must get on with my work. OK. Goodbye. Carl had a few problems with customs in England. Now, let's look at customs in the United States. P.T. Wright is a customs officer in Dallas, Texas. What happens to travelers when they arrive in the USA? There are basically three federal agencies that a traveler will encounter. The first is the Immigration and Naturalization Service. The second is the U.S. Department of Agriculture. And the third is the U.S. Customs Service. Are you carrying more than $10,000 with you? Could you open that for me, please? The declaration form for the U.S. Customs Service is your basic entry document. You complete this, it begins your processing. You define in it the purchases that you made, the places that you visited, the purpose of your visit. If you're coming to the U.S., the purpose of your visit here. If you're a returning resident, the purpose of your visit overseas. You list on it any items that you would purchase in excess of your exemptions. It focuses the, the individual towards making his declaration to the customs officer on his arrival. Good afternoon, folks. Can I see your passport and declaration? Certainly. Okay. Let's see, can you tell me where you've been, sir? Uh, we've been to England and France. All right, what was the purpose of your trip? Uh, partly business and partly pleasure. What is, what is your business, sir? I'm in the oil business. Okay. Uh, yeah, I see you bringing back $500. Can you tell me what you're bringing, Carrie? Just clothes. Well, did Daddy buy you some stuff? Yes. Good. Tell me, have you, were you on a farm or a ranch of any kind? No. Okay, are you bringing back any food items? No, sir. What about uh, any plants, things like that, animals? No. Okay. The U.S. Customs Service requires that you, as a uh, non-citizen, non-returning resident, declare all items that you have in your possession uh, other than personal belongings that you'll be using in your stay. So this would include gifts that you're bringing to people you're, you're visiting. Are these all gifts? They are just gifts. Okay, can you tell me what you have here? Certainly. Um, that's hat and gloves. Okay. What about this one? Small handbag. Okay. And this one here? A child drawing book. Okay, I'm going to look at it, okay? Mm. This is all your own personal clothing? Yes, it is. Well, what is this here? That's some duty-free perfume that I bought back at London Gatwick. Um, I don't have to declare that, though, do I? Is it for personal use or is it a gift? It's a gift. Uh, I'm afraid so, yes. Did you not include it in your, in your exemption here? No, I didn't. Uh, how much did you pay for it? £25. Yes, I'm afraid that you'll have to include it in your declaration because it's, it's only duty-free from the country that you're buying it in, not from the country that you're bringing it into. If you haven't added it to your declaration, you'll have to add it on to it, okay? Mm. I want to do that right now. Visitors to the United States may acquire specific pamphlets printed by the U.S. Customs Service and distributed worldwide. These pamphlets that traditionally carry the name uh, Tips for Visitors 
or customs hints for non-residents, and they should ask for that pamphlet from whoever is helping arrange their travel. That pamphlet will be very uh, explicit in what the traveler must do prior to his entry and what he should do, and then it will even uh, enumerate the specific items that he cannot and should not bring to this country. That was P.T. Wright of the U.S. Customs Service. Today, we've talked about arrivals and departures. And we've talked about things you have to do. Things you don't need to do. And things you mustn't do. And that's the end of the program. We must go. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.